What's going on TSG community, NYZ back with another video and today I'm going to be telling you why Infinite Warfare is going to outsell Battlefield 1 Part 2. So you guys already seen Part 1 to this topic that I uploaded to TSG a couple days ago and that video did extremely well. It got over 4,000 views, over 400 comments, over 600 ratings. It got the TSG community out of their seats. It made the TSG community want to click on that video. And that's what I wanted to do from the beginning. Yes, it did get a lot of hate. Yes, I did get cursed out in the comments. But it got the TSG community out of their seats and debating. And that's what I wanted from the beginning. I could have uploaded any rinky dink video to make you subscribe to me. But no, I uploaded a video that I knew was going to be controversial. A video that I knew a lot of people were going to argue with me in the comments for. I knew it was going to get a lot of hate from the beginning, but I didn't care. I needed to get my thoughts out. But anyway, as I said in the beginning of the video, this is part two to why Infinite Warfare is going to outsell Battlefield 1. And let's get into it. So the biggest reason why Infinite Warfare is going to outsell Battlefield 1 is because Infinite Warfare is Call of Duty. And Call of Duty is completely different than Battlefield. And as we know from current experiences, the Call of Duty community does not like change. Infinite Warfare is the most disliked gaming video on YouTube. Not just Call of Duty video, but gaming in general. Most disliked. And it's all for one reason. It's not boots on the ground. But the developers did say that the movement in Infinite Warfare is going to replicate the movement in Black Ops 3. Now keep that thrown in your head. So if you subscribe to TSG, you most likely enjoy watching Black Ops 3 gameplay because I'll say that's about 90% of what's uploaded to TSG, Black Ops 3 gameplay. So if you enjoy watching Black Ops 3 gameplay, 9 times out of 10, you enjoy playing Black Ops 3 also. And as I said earlier, Infinite Warfare is going to have the exact same Black Ops 3 movement and you guys don't see that much of a problem with it in Black Ops 3, right? Exactly, so if you enjoy playing Black Ops 3, you're buying Infinite Warfare, plain and simple. But let's talk about Battlefield 1. So Battlefield 1, everyone's caring for it like it's their child or something. Anyone who bashes Battlefield 1 is going to get automatically disliked. Uh, I hate that person. Don't ever talk bad about the greatest game ever created. But yet, none of you guys even played it. How are you saying something's the greatest game ever, defending it like it's your child, but you never played it? For all we know, Battlefield 1 could be the biggest flop of the year. I'm going to stay mutual. It could also be the best game of the year. We don't know. Same goes for Infinite Warfare. It could be the best or it could be the worst. And everyone assumed that in part 1 to this video, I was just bashing Battlefield 1. I was saying that it was going to be a bad game, but I wasn't saying that at all. I personally think that Battlefield 1 is going to be an amazing game. I'm just saying that Battlefield 1 is going to sell less copies than Infinite Warfare. And I'm just speaking on past occurrences. Because you guys remember, I believe in 2013 or 2012, it was one of those years when it was Battlefield 4 versus Call of Duty Ghost. Everyone was saying Battlefield 4 is going to be the Call of Duty killer, Call of Duty killer, but yet it turned out that Call of Duty Ghost sold way more copies that year. Maybe over time, Battlefield 4 sold more, but that year that came out, Call of Duty Ghost just blew Battlefield 4 out the parks with uh, copies sold. And is that even a surprise? Call of Duty is always the number one sold game each year. Every year is the number one game sold. And it's just so annoying how closed-minded people are and how much people love to hop on the hate train. Just because the Infinite Warfare trailer got a lot of dislikes, you're gonna dislike it too. You're gonna hate on the game too before you even give it a chance. And I'm pretty sure most of the people who dislike the trailer disliked it before they even watched the trailer. They just seen a lot of dislikes and decided that, oh, it's the cool thing to dislike the trailer, so I'm gonna do it too. Just hop on the hate train. It just doesn't make sense to me. And most likely the same thing happened with, um, the video that I uploaded a couple days to this channel, part one to this series. People seen a lot of dislikes, so they felt they were inclined to dislike it too. It just doesn't make sense to me, man. But anyway, the video's gonna do it, and I expect this video to get a lot of hate, a lot of dislikes. People call me all sorts of names in the comments, but I'm just trying to tell you guys to stop being so close-minded. You can't keep judging a game that hasn't came out yet. And then you might say, oh, you're judging the game, but no, I'm not really judging it. I'm just speaking on past occurrences of what usually happens. Call of Duty outsells everything. But anyway, video's coming to an end. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you slide the like button, slide the subscription button if you're new. But the last thing I have to tell you is that the moral of the story is, have a nice day. Peace. Alright, NYZ back on TSG tearing it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, a like would be greatly appreciated. And if you want to see more from NYZ, go check out his channel. First link in the description.